If you see the reporter show up today, please let me know so I can hide. I do not want them to put me undercover. <laughs> That's pretty cocky. Oh, it's not ego. These corporate magazines love putting employees with disabilities on the cover. Look. Wow. You were not kidding. And they really gonna come after me, especially with face birth Martoni on vacation. Yeah, I'll bet. And getting a black guy in a wheelchair on the cover would be like their holy grail or something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. You trying to say being black's a disability? Oh, no, 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 huh? no. That's no, of course, no. I, I have lots of. What? I listen to Drake. I, Drake? No, no, no. I watch BET sometimes. Oh, I wonder why. Right. Okay. Hey. Hi. Would you like to take a picture for Stratus Magazine? That sound fun? Hey! What are you, deaf? Oh my god, he's deaf. Hey, uh, can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. What's going on? Uh, which of these headphones would you recommend? Personally, I like those. They got Bluetooth technology, which is great. Hey, what's up with that? Oh. I'm sorry, this has nothing to do with you. I'm just making this gesture to make sure any photo of me is unusable. Hey, thank you so much for coming today. Oh, you're welcome. You know, you never actually got a picture of me. Oh, darn. Uh, but I'm free now. Are people still saying cheese? Because uh, I don't want to... You, know. you know, I wish I could, but this camera only holds five million photos. Oh. Thanks, though. Hold up. You haven't gotten a picture of me yet. Oh. Why don't we get one with my boy Glenn? Yeah. Terrific. Yeah? All right. Yeah. All right. The new issue of Stratus is here. Oh, God. I'm so excited. Hot off the press. I made the cover. I made the cover! Boycott Cloud Nine! Boycott Cloud Nine! Boycott Cloud Nine! Boycott Cloud Nine! Well, this came together really well. In one day? Yeah. And it's kind of nice to be out here doing something important. Yeah. Someone needs to clean the porta potty. What porta potty? Oh, God. Okay, everybody needs to stay out of the garden shed. Who is that? I don't know. I mean, I tweeted out hashtag protest cloud nine, and I guess just all these people showed up to support us. Not to brag, but I have like 1,500 followers, and then they inevitably retweet, and so it's essentially like community organizing, which is actually how Obama got started. Excuse me. I know this looks like Coachella, but if you were waiting for the bands to start playing, you're going to be sorely disappointed. I'm actually here to support. You know, if anyone's going to protest a big box store, I'm there. Oh, OK. Well, I guess it's cool to have hobbies. If I wasn't here, I'd just be at home shooting Hellspawn. I'm sorry, that's a reference to a... Dead Chaser 4. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I mean, how much better is it than Dead Chaser 3? I mean, now when you shoot people in the head, their, their brains, brains come, come out. out. Well, I'm having a good day. I am having a very good day. I'm Mo Frank, reporting live from the Cloud Nine on Ozark Highlands Road, where things are anything but heavenly. We're here with Amy Dubanowski, who is one Dubinowski. of the... I'm sorry? Dubanowski. Amy Dubanowski, who is the organizer of this protest. Amy, uh, what's this about? Thank you, Mo. Um, well, we are Cloud9 employees, and we are asking people to boycott the store. Really, what it comes down to, what this is all about, is making sure the transgender people should not be allowed in the women's bathroom. What? <laughs> yeah. No, that's so, not. Uh, Amy Dubanowski, why is restricting trans rights so important to no, you? No, it's it's not. I'm sorry, there's been a misunderstanding. I tweeted out to my 1,506 followers, and I should have been more clear that we're just protesting our thing. Down with the government! Statehood for Puerto Rico! No! No! This is about workers' rights. Workers' rights. We are asking customers to boycott the store because this company is a rat, okay? It is a dirty, filthy rat. <laughs> I, 
believe that's actually a teddy yeah, bear. Yeah, Mo, I can see that it's a teddy bear. I ordered a rat, but there was a mix-up at the rental house. We got the teddy bear, and I guess there's a five-year-old in Crestwood having a horrifying birthday party. Well, they're having a better day than we are. Look, I want you to know that not all Christians are bigots, OK? Oh, that one is. That's Maggie. She goes to my church. She thinks she's so great because she has a karaoke machine. Garrett, isn't that the girl you were talking to? Eh, I knew there had to be a catch. I just thought it'd be something I could live with, like she's just real stupid or something. Hey, Nick, 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 I got a quick, just like, silly question for you. Uh, how serious are you about all this sort of trans bathroom stuff? What do you mean? I mean, like, is it the only thing you think about, or is it more like one of those barely talk about it, just how you were raised, opinion could change if you surrounded yourself with a cooler, more diverse group of friends type deals? No, I think it's pretty simple. I mean, you're born a gender. I think it's unnatural to try and change that. That's what I was afraid of. Hey, think about it this way. Your brain doesn't make you a woman. Breasts make you a woman. You know, these make you a woman. You're not going to make this easy on me, are you? Hey, dude, I'm bouncing. You gonna go out with that girl? Isn't she kind of a bigot? OK, dude, I'm the black guy in the wheelchair. I'll decide who the bigots are. Oh, no, you're right. I'm sorry. And this girl is a bigot. But I have a plan. I'm going to take her out to dinner. Then I'm going to have sex with her a couple times, possibly six. But then when she asks for more, I'm going to say no. Not unless she takes a look at who she is as a person and makes some serious changes. Well, that will show her. I'm just trying to make the world a better place, dude. Thank you so much for your service. This is what Martin Luther King would do. Let's go, girl! Ha-ha! <laughs> Strangle the boy. OK, this seems like something I need to know more about. Oh, uh, I'm working on my presentation for assistant manager. Um, I want to show them that I have the strength of a lion, the intelligence of a dolphin, and the determination of a worker ant. And this is just what I look like on a rabbit. I'm sold. But what are you going to do for the talent portion of the interview? Talent portion? I see we got some work to do. No, Mateo. Your future is not here, in Manila. It lies in America. All aboard. Next stop, Ellis Island. No, Rodrigo, stand back. You're too close to the edge. You'll fall. No, Mateo, I want to be the first to touch Lady Liberty. Oh my god, you're right, Mateo, and you're always right. It actually goes on for much longer. I've seen enough. I like it. You got the steak. Now it's time to make it sizzle. Housewares, groceries, and sporting goods. I know all the departments like your manager should. Good. More street. Time car schedules. Have I got your attention? Because I want to talk to y'all about loss prevention. Mateo for assistant manager. Meow, meow, meow. Peace. I think you can go bigger. Ooh. Interviewing for assistant manager. Mateo, Fernando, Aquino, Luana. Are you ready? Mateo, I, I'm sorry. I, I just offered the job to Amy. I, I, I didn't know you were interested. Oh. I see. Congratulations. Thank you. The roach situation in the break room is getting worse. So clean up your crumbs and Heather, Stop hoarding yogurt lids in your locker. You're not going to win that free cruise. On to something more important than a bunch of dumb bugs. Who's excited about award season? Glenn, the Oscars were last month. I know that because we had that Oscar poll. Wait, who won that again? I don't believe that was you, Amy. Oh, oh yeah, was that was me. Yeah. It's all about the technical category. Yep, you said that. Forget about the Oscars. I am talking about the new Cloud9 Integrity Awards. I know, right? So cool. The winner from each store gets an unframed certificate and attends a luncheon with an all-you-can-eat buffet. Wait, hold on. 
So you go through the buffet and fill your plate once and that's all you get? No, it's all you can eat. Anyway, uh, the recommendation forms are here, uh, which Brett will be happy to help you with in case you think of someone you work with or maybe work for who you think has shown integrity in the workplace. You can't push yourself for an award. Me? I, I don't even know if the managers are eligible. Oh yeah, they're probably not. Well, I know they are because I checked, so. Oh, I see. So it's all you can eat on your one trip to the buffet. No, you, you're not getting it. it. It's multiple trips. That That's the beauty of it. Well, I'm probably not eligible since I'm dating Jeff. You know, I wouldn't want to add more drama to the scandal or add gasoline to the fire, right? You were all so interested when you thought Sandra was dating Jeff. Yeah, it just feels kind of done now. Yeah. What size plate do you have to bring with you? They have plates there. Hey, Sandra. Hey, how was your vacation? I didn't take one. No, I meant last year when I gave you that week off to go to Atlantic City. Oh. Don't worry about it. So who are you nominating? You. <laughs> what? Me? <laughs> no. Sandra, that's so, <laughs> that is so out of left field. Watch out, watch out, move, move, coming through, coming through. What's going on? Found this dog outside stuck in the snow. Oh my God, is he okay? Yeah, he's gonna be fine, I just need to warm him up quick. Hey Tim, go grab one of those dog baths, bring it to the men's room. Heather, grab some hair dryers, blankets, and towels. Come on, little buddy, I got you. Thank God Garrett was there. Talk about integrity. Uh. I, I, don't, I don't think you're allowed to erase. All right, now I'm gonna give you one more because I'm looking out for your sodium. Here you go. Hey, Garrett. Hey there, little guy. How's your... Oh, he thinks he's trying to steal his nacho. Oh. I'm not. Anyway, good for you for finding him. He probably saved his life. Who saw that coming? I didn't. Eh, you know, it wasn't that big a deal. You might even win the award. How crazy would that be? Garrett, Integrity Award winner. Look, I know how much you want the award. Oh, that's quite a leap. Well, on the off chance that I'm right, why don't we do this? Attention, Cloud9 employees, do not recommend me for the Integrity Award. If you would like to reward me for rescuing a dog, feel free to bring baked goods by customer service, preferably homemade. Thank you. And no lemon squares or anything with oatmeal. Save that crap for somebody who did not rescue a dog. I was looking everywhere for him. <laughs> oh, hi, boy. Oh, what's going on here? Garrett didn't just find a dog. He found a veteran's dog. Thank you. You're a hero. Oh, uh, no, sir. Thank you. You're the real hero here. You are. No. Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> Maybe we all are. All of us are heroes. Mr. Corporate would like to congratulate you on some really fine work today. Really impressive. Now, just doing what I do. Plus, my manager, Glenn Sturgis, set such a great example for me. Right, but you're the one who saved the life of a war hero's dog. I mean, that deserves recognition. Well, hold on. I think you mean allegedly saved the life of an alleged dog. It was definitely a dog. And who knows if that guy was even a real war hero. Maybe he was one of those veterans that, you know, shot up a village of innocent people. A lot of folks snap under the fog of war. What are you doing? Um, well, I, I'm, I'm not sure how. Garrett just called you a bad name and now he's giving you the finger. Attention Cloud9 employees, I am now accepting recommendations for the Integrity Award, not because I care, but largely out of spite. Hey, Sandra, this order just says pot. Do you know if they mean, like, nonstick or cast iron, or maybe they just think this is a dispensary? Oh, I'm the wrong person to ask. I don't do a lot of cooking or drugs. No, is this an Oculus Quest headset? Man, these are like $400 a pop. It's supposed to be amazing VR. I mean, even the box is high-end. Oh, the cardboard feels like velvet. Feel it. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> it's right. really smooth. Yeah. Remind you why we got into this business, you know? Garrett, guess what? We sold another one of those VRs. What? No way. Hold up. Barbecue chips? Takis? Dill pickled flavored almonds? Hmm? This dude gets it. You should meet him. Oh my God, this was Jerry's order? Yep, I'm sure you had no idea. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Garrett. I'm here to pick up my video game. Your video game? Do you have any idea what you just bought? That's state-of-the-art wireless VR. Cool. 
I learned so much from you. Hey, Garrett, maybe you could help Jerry set this up. And then if you wanted to play for a while, I'd cover you, and you could get to know each other better, you know, since you're his best man. That all just occurred to me. You know, I've left work for less. Let's go. We don't really have many guests. Oh, do you want a snow cone? A snow cone? No, I'm, I'm good, thank you. You guys big Guy Fieri fans? Who? Oh, we got that at a yard sale. We liked his confidence. Mm. Well, why don't we break into this little bad boy and download some games? <clears throat> do you think you'll want a snow cone later? Because the machine's in storage, and I'd have to wait for the water to freeze, and we'd need to get a jump on it. Yeah, you know what, Jerry? I'm, I'm all good on snow cones. OK. We don't have any of the flavored syrup anyway. OK, so just crushed ice in a cone. Oh, what do you see now? Is it a dragon? I, I bet it is. I told you, there's no uh, dragons in this game. Why don't you put on the headset, and then you can see, and you don't have to ask questions. You mean play together? More like play the same game at the same time. Whoa. It's so dark, it really feels like I'm in outer space. You have to turn it on, Jerry. <laughs> oh, nice, Jer. You mostly blew yourself up, but you distracted a couple zombies. Yes. High five. Oh, stabbed you. It's all good, man. I got help. <laughs> all right, here we go. Cover me. Oh, Garrett, I did it. I built a barn. Uh, yeah, you know, I think that was already there, but uh, good job, buddy. Buddy.